Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we're going to do a review on a jump starter, a ultra capacitor jump starter. It's one of those jump starters that does not require charging. So you just keep it in your car, it can stay in your car for several years. Actually, if you uh, never use it, it never requires charging. So in an emergency when you need to uh, jump your car, it would use that remainder power in the battery to charge itself and then jump the car it has to be over 5 volts and in most cases that would be uh, it would be over 5 volts you should have gone to about 8 volts so uh, let me show you what I'm talking about okay so this is the instruction manual for the SP61074 ultra capacitor jump starter okay guys this is what I'm talking about it's a next generation ultra capacitor jump starter this one has a built-in internal battery okay this is some of the features it will do 12 volts up to 800 amp jump start you have uh, engines up to 5 liter v8 um, 8 cylinders and diesels up to 3 liter okay guys so uh, this is the case it comes in this over here one thing I like about this uh, jump starter, it comes in this, it has this nice little protective cover over it. it keeps everything you know safe in case you drop it. It has this uh, light on this side. You just hit this, you have a light, a strobe light. You could use it like a you know emergency uh, if you get stuck on the side of the road. So this would be where you plug it in to, to uh, charge it through the USB. And this is where you would plug it in to charge it with the uh, cigarette lighter plug. So, you, so, like I said, this one you have two options. You can use the backup battery to charge the capacitor, or you could just connect this directly to a battery to charge the capacitor. I got uh, two batteries here. I'm going to show you, kind of use it for uh, demonstration purposes. One thing I like about this also is if you have a dead battery, First thing you have to figure out is why did your battery die? This has a battery analyzer in it, so it will tell you to charge the battery or replace the battery. It doesn't just jump start your car and it will actually tell you if the battery is good or if it's bad. And it's I'm going to hook it up to this battery. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. Okay, so you see right away it shows you the volt, the car battery voltage, 8.4. And right on the bottom right there it says replace battery because this battery has a high resistance, 99. But it's still charging the capacitor so you can get the car jump. That 100% you see right there, that's the internal battery. The internal battery is at 100%. The capacitor is at 11.5. And the battery is at 3.7. So that might not charge. Let's see what it does at 3.7 volts. It says it needs to be at least 5 volts. In that case, if you had a regular jump starter or a regular capacitor jump starter, without an internal battery you would not be able to jump your car you'd have to use a donor car or someone else's car to charge the capacitor and then jump your car and for those of you thinking you could always use a jump cables I would never use jump cables on my truck the older cars yes but now nowadays with the ECU these cars have in them you don't want to use a uh, jump cables that could that could cause some serious damage not only uh, bodily damage but it could mess up your whole car computer system okay so this battery is too low to be charged so it says replace battery so in this case I would use the internal battery so you come right here, you disconnect it, and then you 
hold the internal battery, turn it on, and then you press it. The internal battery would start charging the capacitor so you could jump. Once it gets to 15 volts, it will say ready to start. So this is a nice feature with the backup battery. If your battery is so low that it won't charge the capacitor, you could use the internal battery to charge the capacitor and then jump your car. Once it gets to 15 volts, it will say ready to, to jump. Seven, eight, nine. See, jump start ready. So now you would just hook it back up to the battery. And that, the car battery is at 15 volts now. See that? Okay guys, so I showed you what it's like hooking up to a completely dead battery. Let's hook it up to a battery that's about half charge. It won't start the car. So let's see what it uh, says. Let's hook it up negative, negative, and positive, positive. All right, this one's at 11.3, and it should start charging the internal capacitors. There you go. It's charging the capacitor using the, the car battery power. So it's using this battery to charge the internal capacitors. I'm gonna let it run to just show you how fast it actually takes. How long it actually takes. It's already at 14 volts, it should be ready at 15. Jump start ready. So it's, it does not take long if the battery is at least, you know, half halfway. So once you get, once you see that sign, you just say uh, count to 10 and you just start your car. Okay guys, so now we're gonna hook it up to uh, the car. The battery is really low. It's having a hard time starting. So I'm gonna hook up the jump starter and see if it cranks it. That was, that was easy. This makes it so easy. If you guys looking for a jump starter to keep in your car, in the, in the, the rare case that your battery might die, 
this one right here I highly recommend I'm gonna have the link down in the description so you know you can check it out and uh, see if this will work for you but highly recommend this one okay guys we just finished reviewing the uh, jump the ultra capacitor jump starter I think this is something everyone should have in their car I mean I've had like about three or four dead batteries in the past and if I had something like this you know you'd be standing on the side of the road in the parking lot with some cables waiting for someone to give you a chance to use their car keep something like this in your car you never have that issue again battery dies you just hook this up and go okay guys thanks for watching Gavin's garage y'all have a nice day thank you bye Thank you.